Well, we are back in the grind, kind of, sort of, well, not really, but a little bit. We're working on the impala today. The boys have prepped most of it. I've been fixing a dent on it. Right there, very primered. And I'm going to run to town. I gotta get, I gotta get shaggy. Right there, we shaggy. You can see what we've done. We're going ahead and freshening the black up. Pretty much done with it, you know, functionality and stuff, but I might still have a, I need to check out my front toe end, see how it is. I might have a front alignment done yet. I might have to check out my ball joints and stuff to make sure they're okay before my trip I go on. Went ahead and, like I said, freshen up all the black. See there, windshield wipers. Got to, got new uh, wiper blades for it. But I figured before I put on the back burner for good, I wanted everything to be to my satisfaction and really fresh looking. And I think I'm gonna head out carport shopping. I ain't doing this daggone much work this thing. I'm letting it sit out in the paint job room and that's too much daggone work. Daniel's prepping his truck for paint. <clears throat> I went ahead and gave the boys the rest of the day. I, I gave them a little bit early so they could do some of their pro projects they got. They got plenty of projects, let alone what they're doing for the business after hours and themselves. Them the only three spots you're putting from here out. Waylon is into a chore. He's gonna put a top skin on this dude. Oh my goodness. He's already got the windshield out. He's getting it to where he can get to the back glass and take it out. So all them people wanting that truck, it's Waylon's truck. So yeah, yeah, this is Waylon's truck and it's not for sale. We've <laughs> this has probably been one of the most inquired about vehicles that we've got here, as funny as that sounds. It's a monster. Um this is my rat rod supposed to be here. But I love that guy enough to let him get this thing sealed up. But when that thing, I said when Mystery comes out, that's going to, but I was wrong. And besides, it's going to be probably four to six weeks before Mystery has a carport to be under. So she'll be, I'm not letting her set out. Not, I did let it set out last night after, you know, but that's not going to happen very often at all. And it's not going to happen during the sun because the sun beats the thunder out of the paint. So this could be, it's going to be living, it's going to be living under here. Till I'm gonna get my carport set up. It's gonna be living under some sort of shelter. And this one's gonna, like I said, once he gets this done, car, that thing's going under the carport. Well, actually what we'll do first is I got the frame over here. I mean, I'm, I'm wanting to get on this thing and bad. But at the same time, mystery about wore me out financially and physically, it was a lot of, a lot of, drain on both parts and i did enjoy it but a lot of it's guilt because i knew i should be making money and i was playing right here though is my rat rod chassis dakota rt say somebody's already had headers oh my goodness i hope i ain't getting water down in there i hope i ain't We've got our headers on already this i have drove this truck when it was a dakota i already had drove it i've got dual exhaust it's got aftermarket exhaust on it but see, two goes in one. I ain't doing that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put doubles. I left, I cut this bed, cause I might widen my bed so I can handle more meat. Cause the bed I got on it, you can't hardly put any tires under it. So I haven't made my mind up on the bed yet. Not for sure. Cause if I use this bed, I'll have to cut this wheel well a bunch down. But I still, I think I'm gonna put that bed on my truck. The more I look at it, the more I'm leaning toward that pretty hard. That'll give me a good gas feel too. <clears throat> what the world? What in the, oh, it's just bungee strapped down. You get the drift though, it goes up against here, that does. And then I can put it out the side of my bed. So there's not gonna be a lot of body work to do to the rat rod. And when I say body work, I don't mean any body filler. I'm talking about just, you know, cutting and welding. So let me show you what I'm talking about on the bed. See, I like the bed being tucked in like that. See it? But, you know, I can bring it out a bit to match these front. So I, I probably will put that bed on. This would be the simplest thing, just to drop it. There's my exhaust, by the way. Just to drop it together on that frame like it is. Because there's not much work to put this on that frame.
some snake lives in here yet? I might have me a buddy, I don't know. There I'm sitting inside the rat rod. Pretty cool driving this. I mean, I like driving it. I'm hoping to have the air conditioner working when it gets back together. Hopefully.